Hello everybody, it's a friendly photo. I'm so excited. So, as you guys can just see right there, I just put it up. Photo of sensitivity epilepsy warning. A small portion of this population has a condition where photo sensitivity epilepsy warning. Okay. Okay. Ro oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited guys. Okay, so let me just get into the story and I need to talk about some stuff. So a couple of months ago, actually a month ago, or something, I don't know, Jack something I played this game. I did not watch them because like each video was like an hour and 30 minutes long. I cannot watch that in just one portion. I cannot do that. Anyway, so he uploaded that and then people at school started watching it and started saying it's a lot like Stranger Things, which is my favorite ne favorite Netflix us uh, favorite favorite Netflix show. Season three is coming out soon. I'm so excited about this year. Maybe I don't know, but season three is coming out. And it made me get intrigued. I was like, ooh, stories untold, Stranger Things, I'll give it a try. So I requested it to uh, Trevor, the librarian here. He had to look into it because it was like kind of different, like a scary game, I don't know. So uh, finally he got it today and I'm going to play it. And I'm scared now because I'm looking at it. It says four stories, one nightmare, so that's going to be scary. The abandoned house, which are, is scary enough. And then the lab conducts the station process and the last session. Like, ugh. Anyway, it's going to be creepy. It's going to be good. It's going to be like Stranger Things, I think. I'm so excited. Let's hop into it. Oh, ooh. That's amazing, that wood background. Start. I don't know if there's any volume. I can't hear anything. I'm so scared. The intro is like Stranger Things. A no code production. Alexa, Travis, Haley, Healy. Richie. Beep beep, Richie. No, sorry. <laughs> this isn't gonna get me a copy strike, right? And. Stories untold. Oh, I called it. I got goosebumps, that's amazing. Okay, oh. Interactive horror adventure. Wait, wait, what? So we're not actually playing the game, we're like playing as a person who is playing the game? What? You pull up to it you pull pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. From all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. What do I do? What? Play one of these games. Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. I've seen them in like what's it? Big Bang Theory. Sheldon plays that where he's like, go north, go south, go to river. Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. Um, um, look in gob uh, look in the glove box. The go glove box is closed but appears to be unlocked. Open glove box. <laughs> Uh, glove box. What? Sorry. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You can take both. Read note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator or on back to, to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. You pull up to the driveway of the family home and pack the car. It's dark. Oh, okay. Um. Ah. Uh. Go to back. Sorry, I don't understand. Did I mess up? Did I mess up? One second. Um, open glove box.
and you have taken the contact. Go inside. Get out car. Get out out of the car. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst trees. In front of you is the front door and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Go out back. Uh, to the back. Back. I'm just gonna type in back. Okay, uh, go inside then. Inside. In inside. <laughs> The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Use key. You enter the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Go in to house. You step inside the front door. You enter the house through the hallway. It's dark and you can see and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Flip switch. light switch a click nothing there is no power the note should say how to restore it go to back you step outside the front door go to backyard I guess I don't know these names are confusing because you don't know what to type in you wish you could just type in like anything go to backyard you know, but they don't really understand that. You have to, like, type in, go inside, go through back door, go into backyard, go into shed, turn on the generator. You know? Um, go to backyard. <laughs> and then I'm a slow typer, so. Take a walk around the yard. Yes. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of the time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Turn. On generator, is that how you spell it? Trying to use um, crap! I forgot. Um, uh, go turn on generator. Turn on generator. How do you spell generator? One second. Okay, I'm trying to do a no edit challenge. One of those things. So I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure it's G E N T E Gen or wait wait Gen or a Generator. Copy. <laughs> no, Jen. Are you serious? I hate this. I hate this. Jen. Jen or a tour. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Jen or. Oh my god, guys. Um. Uh, uh, go to shed. Maybe it's in the shed. Maybe it's in the garage. Who knows? Go to. We're just gonna try that backyard. We're gonna first. Try the shed. Go to shed and then try on the generator. Shed, right? Yeah. Okay, so go to garage. Go inside house. You walk back around to the front of the house. House is grand. This is getting hard. Go and side. Go inside. It's not so died side. You step inside the front door. Perfect. However, uh, go down hallway. I'm editing this out. Okay, guys, I'm back. I I had to look it up. The okay, so we go to garden.
outside. We have to go outside. Go outside. Just step outside the front door. There we go. So I forgot that was inside. The house is grand. Okay. We don't care. We need to go to the garden. Uh, go to garden. You take a walk around to the yard. Perfect. Throughout Mel Montaigne, you spend a lot with family holiday trips, good memories. Look around. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Use generate. Gen or a tour. We've learned this. <laughs> you switch generate on and it whirls to life. The house is still dark. You have to go turn on the lights. Sorry, guys. I did not cheat. I promise. I literally was stuck. I, pr I should probably start reading. Th this is going to be the game where you have to read everything for it to make sense, I bet. Go inside house. Oh, and so... Go inside. Go to front yard. Go to the front. Go to the front. You walk right around to the front of the house. I'm putting this camera down a little bit. Okay. Go inside. You step inside the front door. How long have I been recording? This is gonna take an hour, isn't it? You enter the house in the hallway. It's dark. You feel the light switch next to the door, however. Flip. Light switch. You flick the switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Go in to Kitchen. So we're gonna go into the kitchen, then the living room, then we're gonna go up the stairs. You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a bit utility room, but otherwise it's just the kitchen. Go into utility room. This is a cool game. It is locked. We have I no idea where the could key could be. Um go to living you no know, no, it's probably gonna make me it's like type go back in the hallway go to kitchen wait go to hallway one second oh that is a space okay sorry you go back out to the hallway uh the hallway is not brightly lit i know i know this i know this is there any way to skip it Perfect. I really like this game. It's really cool. Props to you, the guys who made it. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of time here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Go to hallway. You go back out to the hallway. Hallway is now brightly lit. There's access to the kitchen and living room here. Hallway. Uh, upstairs. To the landing. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures of the door on the walls. Happy and happy times. Go into the bathroom. You step inside the bathroom. You are in the bathroom. <laughs> There's not much to know, but it's all in good order. Go out. You step back out to the landing. Uh, I'm going to type in... Go into bedroom one. <laughs> uh, go into bed. Not bread. Bedroom one. Which bedroom? Your room or your sister's? My room. Go in to my room. <laughs> you walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here and it's all preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. Open box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it! Your dad has found your old computer. Future rule 126K.2. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Press enter to continue. 
Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On your desk is a futural and a copy of the house abandoned. It's all st still to be set up, though. What? Oh, I need my camera. What's the matter with you, camera? Please start working. Well, my camera's not gonna work for a little bit. We're just gonna set up. Play game. Look around. The usual, okay. Play the house abandoned. The house abandoned. Abandoned. Ah, oh my gosh. It's all still to be set up though. Set up computer. Computer. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. Okay. Uh, computer's all set up and ready to go. There is a game here too. I'm gonna see if I can turn on my camera now. It better work, please. They need to see my face. <laughs> I hope that's not too zoomed in. It's way too zoomed in. And I'm going to have to not edit that out. We're doing, like, the no editing challenge. Okay. There is a game here, too. Look at game. It's a new horror game called The House Abandoned. Looks ace. Looks ace. Cool, dude. Cool, dude. Uh, play game. You put the cassette into the computer and press play. I press enter. It's the upside down. <laughs> I'm sweating. No! I have goosebumps everywhere. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. Remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Check open. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from your dad. You take both. Read note. You don't recognize this handwriting. It says, get out, 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 get out. Ugh. Ooh. I'm sure you pull up to the driver of the phone and call home and park the car. It's like we're clearly neglected. Get out. Of the car. You force the rope car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to this side, wood creaks in the wind, and all those happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. I'm gonna have to turn on the generator to garden. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown. Weeds crawl up the sides of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note needing to look around. There is an old generator next to you. Turn on. Oh. Oh, no. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Go and sit side. You go back to the front door of the house. 
The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. She turned on the generator and then my lap turned on. Lamp. I don't like this, guys. I don't like this at all. Tape load? Tape loader or something like that. Sorry, it's a little tape. There's no love here. Go inside. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. So I can't type at all. You unlock the door. It clicks. Oh, here. So I'm trying to type and learn to, to type without looking. You reluctantly step inside. Oh, no, no. You would step inside. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Still air and dump. Damp. This cannot be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Turn on light. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch on. The light flicker on and off. The walls appear to be falling apart. After years of neglect or worse, there are stains. In The sound of alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in this house. That can't be. Upstairs. Turn off. Somehow the alarm stops. You, you can feel the panic set in. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent. The stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hand. Mm -hmm. Oh no, this game is so cool, but so scary at the same time, guys. I do not like this. I do not like this at all. Oh, I keep on feeling the need to like, uh... <sighs> Go in the living room. Go uh, into kitchen, I meant. Kitchen. Kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. Ugh. There's writing on the wall, and the utility room has a red X painted on it. Go to the living room. Go to hallway. You step back to the hallway. Your shoes are wet. You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. The panic sets in. Right? The note feels disgusting. Go into the living room. Recording. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit in your stomach. This is not a nice place. Go upstairs. Go to hallway. Not O oh, to hallway. Go to hallway. Ah. Go to. I can't type at all. Go to the hallway, please. You return to the hallway. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. The note feels disgusting in their hand. Go upstairs. I'm going to hear footsteps, aren't I? Called it. You go upstairs, that's what I remember. Mm, mm. <gasps> Behind the door, phone starts to ring, you don't understand. It said sisters twice. Uh, answer phone. I can't hear what you're saying over that ringing. I heard voices spill over the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. Relief. Same but different. Different. <laughs> Lanning has access to your sister's sister's room, your room, the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is d different about them. So I'm trying to do that glitchy voice. <laughs> Not working out, is it? Go into your room. Go into your room. 
Rolls are shut with the four digit combination lock. Go into sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Go into bathroom. You enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered with a layer, layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all thing, kinds of bugs. Out. <laughs> Go back. You step back onto the landing. Same but different. Uh -uh. This is so scary, guys. This is so cool. Oh. No, the pictures. The pictures are all messed up now. Look around. Landing is bare and worn. Photos adorn the wall. All misaligned. Misaligned. Align. Photos. Huh. Uh. I don't know the combination. Uh. Go into your room. Oh, go into your room. The door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. Uh. Open combination. Combination. Hmm. I'm pretty sure you spelled combination. One second. Okay, so it says you have to go back downstairs. It says the combination is downstairs somewhere. Go downstairs. Feel a presence. Someone's in the house. They should not be here. What could it be? Go to kitchen. Like, what if it's like the saw, like, where it's like in the carcass? Rusted metal, and there's a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall. Writing on the wall! Look at the writing. And blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. I don't like this. I don't like this. Go upstairs. Speck in the hallway. Your shoes are wet. Go upstairs. You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped once you feel the presence. <sighs> My stomach. Go upstairs, head up the stairs too. Stairs creak. Same but different. The Lenny has access to your sister's sister's room, your room and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall. Something is different about them. Look at pictures. You guys have been scored out on all. Um Go into my room. Hold it shut with the four digit combination lock. Use lock. You grab the lock. Lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy. No heavier. You grab a lock and now to put the code. 1986. It's coming from over there. Somebody at the front you landing. Off the wall. Open. Go into go into your room. I think I know what's gonna happen. The door is closed. Open door. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. You open the bedroom door. Go in. 
So I don't understand. Go into room. Look around. The landing is bare and worn. Photos of the on the wall are all less aligned. Go into room. You enter your bedroom. Oh God, I hear from the speakers on these sides. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you have been here before in front of you. A lone person sits in front of your computer screen. The lamp is on, the clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here, I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Oh my god, the note, the clock says 999. <laughs> They're talking about me. <laughs> mm. Grip the note tight. Look at note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but s still you punish me. I can't, I can't be with you now. Press it. There is nothing left to do. I assumed, I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. End? You are pathetic. It is. It was all your fault. Say it. Was all my... I don't believe you. Like you mean it. Please. It was all my fault. Say it. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. That was amazing! That was amazing, guys. I'm falling out of my chair. That was absolutely amazing! That was the best game I've ever played! There's still three more to go! Oh my gosh! That was amazing. I want to play part two so bad. That was amazing. I can't say enough directors, people who made that game so much credit to you. That was the best game ever. Best game ever. What's it about though? Four stories, one nightmare? Oh my gosh. That was amazing. Well, I have to end this episode here. I probably have to go edit that and then probably like some, go watch some YouTube on my own time. My friends' videos and stuff like that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.